Whoa, whoa, hey, how y'all been? I went out for milk like a day and a half ago. You know, only a couple hours. Apparently, between the time I left for milk and came back, layer two was announced, and I believe at the time of this video getting out, it's most likely coming tomorrow, or at the very least, the next Monday after. I've been looking at the changes, and I'm not gonna lie, these old builds are gonna be clapped. I don't mean like they're gonna suck, but they aren't gonna be as good as the builds that are gonna be made after layer two, according to these changes. Exhibit A. Progression is much easier to go about, as said from Thread. Numero tres. Where it states that the EXP curve in verse two has been drastically improved. Adept and Mark of the Lone Warrior will be removed in verse two, but since the new base X EXP is better than both of them combined, you won't really be losing out from this. So essentially what this is saying is that Adept and Mark of the Lone Warrior are getting yeeted out the game. Air quotes because they aren't really out the game since the cards work as a multiplier for EXP to, you know, multiply the base EXP. But relating to this chart, you can see that the base is being changed to be an even better multiplier than having a Death End Marker Lone Warrior. So all in all, if you didn't have either of these, the game is easier for you. But if you did, haha loser, change has its ups and downs. Mostly good, but I can't help but think what the point of doing Trial of One is anymore since Market Alone Warrior was the main incentive in attempting it. Now all it provides is a slightly quicker progression. Maybe it will be changed, who knows. Anyways, on to Exhibit B. Luck is getting fucked in the ass. As the rumors were true, as according to Thread, the percentage luck that you normally see at the bottom right corner of the screen is getting poopy scooped out of there, making RNG less of a factor when progressing which I am so thankful for, as you're gonna see in my next video, hopefully. Instead of RNG, you can get guaranteed rare cares. Why did I write cares? I meant cards. Wait, the script knew I would fuck up. This is so meta. But uh, every one level out of the new 20, you will always get two rare cards pulled, so long as you are able to pull one. This means that there's a fixed amount of rares you can get, which is 40, as you know, if you do the math, two times 20 is 40. Before, it was completely RNG, and rare slash legendary mounts varied across all builds because of it. So this is a very nice change as some builds are extremely hard to make. Foreshadowing. The Marauder Boon is also kicking the bucket for good, but I don't know anyone who still used it anyways. Also, in this last paragraph, it says that there is a new currency that will allow you to adjust builds. I can only hypothesize that this is meant for old builds that miss out on these benefits. Could be wrong, we'll have to see together when there are two releases. Next, Exhibit C, Traits in Thread. Numero 6. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand this. I sat for a good half an hour, but I think it's like another type of card roll, like Whispers, where you would get traits that specialize in health, damage, tempo, or ether. This is just to add variety, since God only knows this game needs variety with builds, especially after this update. But yeah, that's all I got. Probably ROM or some bloke will explain it better, with more detail than I have. Lastly, Exhibit D. Legendary cards are getting the boot, as says with Satve number par. We're also removing legendary cards as a mechanic. Goes on to say why, then in their place, we have added a new type of card, advanced cards. And what the paragraph goes on to say is that these new advanced cards have special requirements, which I'm assuming is just a fancy way of saying invest points into such and such to unlock. All the legendaries have either turned into these new advanced cards or have been turned into rares. The last paragraph talks about old builds, keeping the legendaries they had before, even the ones they lost a requirement for when they changed, like Condition Runner. But I mean, like, that was pretty obvious. Come on, Debogan. But, to break all this down, legendaries are even easier to get than before, with them being guaranteed at this point, being along with the rares, but this thread provides zero support for old builds that won't have nearly as much bread compared to the newer ones being made after layer 2's release. But yeah, that's my hot take about, about the new upcoming changes to Debogan. If you found this video helpful, please do subscribe because I'm broke! And I need funding to continue making videos. Adobe ain't gonna pay for itself. But in conclusion, if you're progressing, stop. Just wait until layer two so you don't miss out on these new benefits. If you already matched out a build, tough luck to you. Make a new one because of literally everything in this video. But anyways, y'all have a great day.